The crowds demand vengeance, and tonight came the first hangings. A state under pressure with its first executions in six years. And anger is also turning towards those accused of being ideological backers of extremist violence. This protest is taking place outside a mosque in Islamabad, notorious as a centre for radical Islam, once besieged by the army. This is middle class Islamabad, people who rarely come onto the streets. It's not in majority, it's not, they're just louder. So we are just silent majority and we are getting loud now. Out of earshot of the protest, on the other side of the wall, the children being schooled in fundamentalism. In the corridor of the bodyguards of the Imam, these are nervous times for a man who's praised Al-Qaeda and Islamic State. In the mosque's Osama bin Laden library, he told me he condemned the massacre. But do you believe that it is time for the Taliban to stop? They won't stop. Whoever tells them to stop will become their enemy. They will say, you just want to wipe out our struggle. And I don't think that this will solve the problem. If Taliban stops, something new will rise up, and they'll do the same thing. There are a lot of people on the street outside who think that you're a terrorist. You're a man who supports murderers. In Pakistan, everyone says that everyone is a terrorist. The army and the Taliban say to each other that you're a terrorist. But the reality is that we have to sort the problem. The solution to our problem is Sharia law. These newly released pictures of the dead school children convey the scale of loss. But despite all this, getting a unified response to the tragedy will be difficult. The military and politicians don't trust each other here, though today the Prime Minister met with army chiefs, both pledging a hardline response to this destruction. The state has now begun its response to the massacre, but in a fragile political system with divisions between the politicians and the military and within the military itself, the challenge of defeating the Taliban could not be greater. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Islamabad.